Hello, my name is Yashwara. I am from ICT department at Marwadi University, and I am here to explain telephone network. Let us start our discussion by talking about telephone network. It is used to provide voice communication. Telephone network uses circuit switching. Originally, the entire network was referred to as a plain odd telephone system, which is POTS, which uses analog signal. With the advancement of technology, that is the computer era. there comes a feature to carry data in additional to voice today's network is both analogs and digital now let us talk about some major components of telephone network basically there are three major components of telephone network those are local loops trucks and switching offices there are various levels of switching offices such as and offices random offices and regional offices the entire telephone network is shown in the diagram now let us talk about local loops local loops is a twisted pair cables that are used to connect a subscriber telephone to the nearest end office or local central office for voice purpose its bandwidth is 4000 hertz it is very interesting to examine that the telephone number that is associated with each local loop the offices is defined by the first three digits and the local loop number is defined by the next four defines now let us talk about trunks it is a type of transmission medium used to handle the communication between offices throughout multiplexing trunks can have handle hundreds or thousands of connections mainly transmission is performed through optical fibers or satellite links now let us talk about switching office as there is a permanent physical link between any two subscriber to avoid this the telephone company uses switches that are located in switching offices the switch is able to connect various loops or trunks and allow a connection between different subscribers now let us talk about letters after the davis switcher of 1984 The United States was divided into more than 200 local access transport areas, which is letters. The number of letters has increased since then. A letter can be a small or a large metropolitan area. A small state may have one single letter. A large state may have several letters. A letter boundary may overlap the boundary of a state. Part of a letter can be in one state, part in another state. Now let us talk about intra letter services the services offered by a common carrier inside a letter are called intra letter services a carrier that handles these services is called a local exchange carrier which is lec before the telecommunication act of 1996 intra letter services were granted to one single carrier this was a monopoly after 1996 more than one courier could provide services inside a letter the courier that provide services before 1996 owns the cable cabling system and is called the incumbent local exchange courier ilec the new courier that can provide services are called competitive local exchange courier which is clecs we can say that intra letter services are provided by local exchange carriers since 1996 there are two types of lecs incumbent local exchange carriers and competitive local exchange carriers communication inside a letter is handled by end switches and tandem switches a call that can be completed by using only end offices is considered toll free a call that has to go through a tandem offices intra letter toll office is charged the service between letters are handled by inter exchange carriers ixcs these carriers sometimes called long distance companies provide communication services between two customers in different letters after the act of 1996 these services can be provided by any carrier including those involved in intra letter services 
the field is wide open. Career providing intraletter services include AT and TMCs. The IXCs are long distance career that provide general data communication, including telephone service. The telephone call going through an IXC is normally digitalized with the courier using several types of network to provide services. Now, let us talk about some advantages and disadvantages of telephone network. Telephone network is a circuit switched network in which it is a type of network configuration in which a physical path is obtained and digitalized to a signal connecting between two endpoints in the network. For the duration of a dedicated connection, ordinary voice phone services use circuit switching. Other than this, there are no transmission delay as any receiver can be selected. And it is cheap in price because it is widely spread network. Now let us talk about some disadvantages in which it requires a large time to of connection and it is a low transmission speed. Now let us talk about some application of the telephone network. It helps to connect people and it is used by business organization to advertise their products. It is also used around the world for recreational purposes. I hope you liked the video. Thank you.